Good. And let's dream of a green Christmas. With eco-friendly and sustainable decorating ideas is the one and only Julia Green in the house. Oh, they are excited. Do you see that? No. Give me a and let's do no. a little switcheroo. Oh, we'll do a little See? dance, dance, we dance. Do a little there, we dance. Go. there we go. So uh, it's always about being green, but this time of year in particular, like we can get a little wasteful this time of year, can't we? It does. I'm not here to grinch anybody out because yeah. I know it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it is the most wasteful. Yeah. Between holiday wrapping, gifts, gift returns, mm. all that stuff adds up. It does. You know, the average Canadian household is going to increase their waste by close to 30% Oof. just on the holiday week alone. Yeah. So. That's okay. We've got some great ideas to help you reduce your own waste in your own home. We love that and we love you for it. And I want to talk about ornaments. I know. Right? So we're going to talk about ornaments and you're using food for your ornaments. Right? This is zero waste. Exactly. Situation. exactly. This is a zero waste thing. So like, yeah. I like to sometimes at the holidays sort of channel the olden days yes. and just remember it back in the 1800s. <laughs> they were not running to the dollar store, picking up plastic, throwing it on their trees. No. No, they, they were didn't not. Do it. No, no, no. They were using walnuts. Yes. Right. <laughs> this is what they use. This is what they use. And this, this is what you decor. can still use today. Yes. And it looks so beautiful. So dried citrus, one of my favorite things to do. Tracy, mm -hmm. so easy. Just slice your oranges really thin, pat them dry before you put them in the oven. Smell and you good. bake them on about 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about six hours. Now, I know that sounds like a long oh, time, okay. but you can do other things. Yeah. But, and, you know, and your house will start to smell amazing. Nice. And then you've got them. And if you get them really dehydrated well, yeah. you can use them year after year good or as I like to cha you know cha challenge myself yeah. is anything that's on my tree when I take it off can I put it right into my green bin isn't that a beautiful and thing. that's what you can do with any of these food ornaments that's which right is great. you can string the popcorn if you want to get exactly. old school okay so this, this is one of my favorite this is the clementine the old clementine clove ornament. Nice. Have you ever made these before? I haven't made them, but they're so cute. They're so easy. My grandma, that's always the start of the holiday season. My that's grandma nice. would come with the box of the oranges yeah. and all these cloves, and my sisters and I and cousins would sit at the table, and all you do is poke the clove right in. It's so relaxing. You make your own designs. You just sit around the table talking. You know, it's just a great thing to do with the kids, getting them Sweet. off of the screens, and you're actually making these cute little ornaments. I'm looking for all of the fa for yeah, I don't care if it's a forced family moment. Yes. If we can all be together in one room and no one's on their phone, it is a win. And this is a great activity for that. This is so fun. That. It's this easy. You know? And then, of course, yeah. family competition. My sister of Jane course. could do it faster than I yes. can. You know, all oh, that yeah. kind of stuff. Mama's but here to win. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> The kids know this, okay? Yes. Next, we're going to upcycle uh, using some items we have around the house. Right. So taking a look at things that you already have in your home that are, you know, maybe have used up their original use, right. looking maybe in your recycling bin, all yeah. these kind of things. One of the things I collect a lot are books. I love old books. I'm the first one to grab it in a thrift store. Nice. And it doesn't even matter if it's kind of like fallen apart mm -hmm. because I love the cover. I pick the colors. So what I can do with them is you, I like to call this the good old book balls. <laughs> Book balls. Book balls. Okay. So you take sort of any, if it's an older ball or something that you have already, all you're going to do is take any pages that are falling out of your book yeah. and you're going to take a little bit of glue and all you do is just paint the glue right onto the ball and then you would put the strip of paper that nice. you cut. Right? Oh, I'm dropping everything. And you, you didn't even Mod Podge it. Like, no. you just, it's no, basically it's just, a strip of glue, you just glue all the way around. Yep, all around like that. And then you just keep going around and around. It's beautiful. And it's so, I mean, it's just a great way. I love that sort of black and white trend that you can see that's yeah. happening. Now, you can use a newspaper for this yeah. as well. If and, you can find one. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make Don't worry, stuff? my dad's got stacks. <laughs> Same like, with right mine. Same with mine. <laughs> but you know what? P people worry about the ink getting on your fingers from yeah. using new print. Mm -hmm. Newsprint, I've got a hack for that. Okay. So what you want to do is take a piece of parchment paper and your iron on your lowest setting and then you're just going to iron it and that heat makes the ink set in. So it doesn't oh, come off on your fingers. Smart. So okay, you can use it for wrapping paper, parchment. whatever you want. Beautiful. Yes. Um, okay. Let's talk about these gorgeous oh, shiny no, things. Oh, aren't these so beautiful? Okay, this is something I've seen all over TikTok. Yeah. It is using up your Tomato paste. Tomato paste. I know. Who knew that the inside of tomato paste was Look at so the gorgeous? Other side of it. Right? So the inside is gold. Yeah. Right? So you've got that gold. It's nice. It's almost like a little bit of a tin. So you can wear and honestly, the other things that have really great insides are like nuts. 
wrappers. Yeah. They're silver. My favorite, potato chips. Yes. Yeah, so look at that silver paper. So using that to create the, um, what do you call them? Snowflakes. Don't so, don't lick it first. No, no, no. Actually, get everyone to lick it. Get everyone to lick it clean. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so yeah, make sure it's well rinsed. So all you do, Tracy, really, is you're just gonna fold it like a fan, back and forth, back and forth like that. And it's like it's strong enough. Well, this that is what's so um, great with this tomato paste, right? Yeah. Like it actually has texture. It's almost like a little bit like metal. Right. Right. And then when you've got the, t you do the two of them or whatever you've got over, and then you will just connect them together. With, you could use a little and wire. Fan them out. That's it. Yeah. Then you just fan them out like that. That's beautiful. So it's, you know, again, using up whatever you've got in the house, so easy. Nice. So simple. Okay, so we know you love to thrift. <laughs> uh, you talked about thrifting books. What else did you thrift? I thrift everything. Yeah. Like I do. I want to do an entire thing about thrift myths. You like should. the entire thing. Yes, but I know, right? You I should. love we it. We can do it. But I know people always laugh at me. So thrifting Christmas ornaments, honestly, is where you should start. Okay. There are so many things there. You don't need to buy new. Yeah. You can. And I always laugh. People don't believe that I actually do this. I do. This entire, uh, with the vase and all these little guys in here. You see the price tag there? What does it say? Three $3.99. I did it. This is it. That's I bought them. Price range. But I love I the love colors that. of them, right? Yeah. So you can easily thrift those up. Another thing, if you don't want to thrift, you can think of swapping. Yes. Right? Like I here's my sister's ornaments. I take hers in, she takes mine. That's beautiful. Each year we go back and forth. Yes. So it works really, really well. Or another one is the balloons. Have you seen this all over? Yes. Do you take I know old... you don't love balloons. I don't. So you use them over and over and over again. I use again. them over and over again. Yeah. If I use balloons, I will save them and then this is such a great little activity. You put them over your balls and then you can just completely... Just like a little bathing cap. I know, right? And yeah. then you can just totally change the color and the vibe. Look at That's that. Good. Right? You're so, so smart. So gives the balloons a second life. So yes. it's an easy one like that. I'll just throw in my little tip. Keep your ornaments forever. I put right? up the same decorations every year even though everybody says this is on trend. I don't care. I'm using the stuff I have in my basement <laughs> under the stairs. There and you I go. will have them forever. Jules, thank you so much. Great thank you. tips.